Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to take a look at the physics plugin for Wade. So I'm just going to go ahead and click skip tutorials. I'm going to click new project and I'm just going to call it physics. So now we are in our editor. The first thing we need to do is enable the physics plugin and to do that we need to click on this icon up here. If we hover the mouse over it says physics and the icon itself is just a little picture of an atom. So we click on that enable physics and we click OK. Okay so now we have access to the physics behavior excellent. Now I'm just gonna quickly as I always do set the resolution to 1280 by 720 just for consistency in the tutorials. There we go and we'll just save the project now that we've got our setup done. So I'm gonna add a new scene object and I'm just gonna add a square for now. I'm gonna drag it up and just resize it a little bit and we'll just name it square just because it's nicer than having these default names assigned and I'm going to select the behaviors tab and you see here we have physics object I'm just going to click plus so now our scene object has a physics object and if we just go ahead and run this we'll see that our square falls to the ground that is because it is being affected by gravity it has mass it will fall excellent so it's not amazingly interesting, just one square on its own. So we're going to add some barriers for the square to collide with. So I'm going to add another scene object. And I'm going to make this a bit thinner and stretch it out. And we'll just call this wall. So once again, we're going to add a physics object. But this time we're going to set static object to true and mass to zero. This just ensures that this object won't move when the scene starts. So we'll just run again. And we see our box collides with our barrier and stops. Now it's not that interesting, so we're going to put these barriers at an angle. So I'm just going to actually duplicate this one very briefly. So now I've got two. And I'm just going to rotate them a bit. So I'm going to go back into properties and just play with these arrows. And you can change the size. You can place them anywhere you want, really. It's just to get a nice idea of what the physics plugin can do. Excellent. So objects should slide, the friction isn't too high by default. Um, I think I might increase the angle of this a little bit. There we go, let's uh, move that down. There we go, and we've got our square. So I'm just going to save our project, and I'm going to run the program again. And if we see, oh, the square, it bounces, and then it slides. Now of course, we can have more than just squares, we can have circles. So I'm going to add a new scene object once again. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. We will call it circle and then we'll go into the sprites and change it from procedural square to procedural circle. There we go. In fact, I'm going to make that quite a lot smaller. So in the behaviors, we once again add our physics object. But this time we are going to click on edit physics shape. Now this is just a tool that lets you change how you want your shape to be. Now at the moment we're set on polygon so we're going to select circle. This gives us just one point of course because you only need one to determine the radius and we just match that to our shape and click apply. So I'm just going to save the project again and run and the circle behaves pretty similarly to the square. Now we're going to change the behavior ever so slightly. I want this circle to be more bouncy basically so as if it's made of rubber and the way we do that is by changing the restitution value now restitution it's sort of it's elasticity it's sorry elasticity it's how perfect the collision is so in a perfect collision all the energy is conserved the object will bounce off the object as fast as it hit it so it will bounce very very high if it was a very imperfect collision, so not very elastic, it would lose a lot of energy, the object would just basically slide, pretty much as it's doing right now. So I'm going to go to this platform, I'm going to set the platform's restitution at 1, and the circles at 1 as well. Now by default, the lower restitution value is used, so for the square, 0.2 will apply, but for the circle, it will be 1. So in theory, the circle should bounce a lot higher. And indeed it does, it bounces up. But on this platform it doesn't bounce so much because we haven't changed the value. Excellent. Now you don't just have to use squares or circles, you can use more complex shapes. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag in my hexagon. There we go, nice and colourful. And I'm just going to drag this into the scene. Ooh, that's a bit big. Let's just make that a little smaller. There we go. 
So we'll just go ahead and name that hexagon and we'll once again add our physics behavior. So this is where the edit physics shape tool becomes really useful. Now we've got an oddly shaped sprite, we can just drag our points around very simply. And if we left click in some of this empty space, we can add a new vertex. And we can just put these to the edge of our hexagon. There we go, we just go and click apply. And if we run, we just see all our objects. Oh, the hexagon collided with the circle. Are they going to get stuck? No, they will slide off. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just a simple example of how to use the physics plugin for Wade.